Hello, welcome to a short online reflection based on Proverbs 21 as we work our th way through Proverbs Wisdom for Life. I wonder how you found the reading of Proverbs 21. The word that jumps out at me is the word justice, justice, and in particular, justice for the poor. Uh, but there's a lot in this chapter, as there is in all, all of the chapters. Uh, verse 2, a person may think their own ways are right, but the Lord weighs the heart. I link back to yesterday's message about the weights and the measures. The Lord weighs the heart. The Lord knows our motives. He knows what's going on inside us, even if we think our ways are right. Doing right and just things is more agreeable to the Lord than sacrifice. Verse three, the way we live our lives, the choices we make, acting justly, loving mercy and walking humbly. Um, verse five, the plans of the diligent lead to profit as surely as haste leads to poverty. So the wisdom is to take time and to plan and to be diligent in the things that we do. That's what wisdom looks like. Um, there is this phrase that keeps appearing in Proverbs about a quarrelsome or a nagging wife. I'm sure we could say the same about a husband or a partner, possibly even a child or a parent. Better to live on the corner of a roof than share a house with a quarrelsome family member. <laughs> not, not at the moment, because it's absolutely throwing it down with rain. Better to live on the corner of the roof, which sounds a bit precarious, than to share a house with a quarrelsome and I think a little bit further down, um, verse 19, better to live in a desert than with a quarrelsome, nagging family member, shall we say. Um, but verse 13, I think, is the one that really jumps out at me. Whoever shuts their ears to the cry of the poor will also cry out and not be answered. Wisdom does not allow itself to close its ears to the cries of the poor. Uh, verse 15, justice brings joy to the righteous. Verse 17, loving pleasure makes you poor. Never be rich if you love wine and olive oil. Uh, verse 21, whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity and honour. Um, so there's a lot in here about uh, just living, wise living, uh, tending to the cries and the needs of the poor, which we hear all the more uh, these days. And then I think perhaps uh, finally uh, uh, a morale booster, confidence booster with, with all sorts of things that we might face in the coming day. We can face them strong and well, knowing that the wisdom of the Lord is with us. Verse 22, one who is wise can go up against the city of the mighty and pull down the stronghold in which they trust. We need fear nothing if we have wisdom on our side. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but victory rests with the Lord, says verse 31. Verse 30, there's no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against the Lord. So the Lord's wisdom is for our benefit and can give us courage. But we need to listen to the cries of the poor and we need to be willing to lay down our own thoughts and our own ways. The Lord weighs the heart and it's the Lord's ways that are perfect, just and true. Lots there in <laughs> Proverbs 21 again. Join me shortly when we'll look through Proverbs 22 as we continue towards chapter 31 and a completion of this wonderful book in the Old Testament, Wisdom for Life. Have a good day. God bless you.